John chapter 3 verse 7 says, Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. You don't want to make another observation on the issue of the new birth and being a true born again Christian. And that is why it's so foreign to many people. They can't imagine giving up their identity. They aren't tired of their life. See? So you have somebody that says, my life is just miserable. It's bad. You know, I'd like to start over again. I wish I could have a whole new identity. That's somebody who's ready to be born again. When you have somebody that says, well, you know, yeah, I'll do this Jesus thing for a little bit, or I'll just, I'll believe, or what do I got to do? You know, I'll join a church, or I'll get baptized, or I'll take the sacraments, or whatever else. Um, you say, but are you willing to give up who you were? Do you want to be born again? Do you want a new identity? And the truth of the matter is, they don't. They don't want the new birth. They don't want to be born again. That's the whole issue. That's why they reject what the Bible says about the new birth. Hello. You know? That's what's going on there. They don't want to be born again. It's just kind of an interesting thing. That's why these people, the false converts, will fight over the thing of sin. They will fight over the thing of repentance. They'll change the definition around in things. Because they don't want to give up who they were. They want some they want their old buddies to come along and say, Oh, you're still the same old buddy, you ain't changed a bit. Yeah, you know, you're still the old guy I knew back in the military service or back in college or back in They can't stand the fact that their a new birth is gonna mean that the people are gonna come and say, What happened to you? You used to be such a neat person to be around. You've changed. Something to think about. 